at 10, our special coverage of Jeffrey Dahmer's legacy of terror. It's been 20 years since Dahmer's arrest for the grotesque murders of 17 men. It was a story that took unbelievable twists and turns and changed Milwaukee forever. Three years after he was arrested, Jeffrey Dahmer was murdered in prison. But there are still questions about whether the man who killed him acted alone. Christopher Scarborough has sent me several letters recently. Tonight, we see those letters from a killer. Jeffrey Dahmer, the nation's most notorious serial killer. He tortured and murdered 17 young men and boys and then had sex with their bodies. Sentenced to 957 years in prison, the mild-mannered Dahmer instantly became Wisconsin's most famous inmate, sought out by the news media, which was fascinated with his bizarre crimes. Dahmer calmly told Dateline NBC he still had an urge to kill. It never completely goes away. I'll uh, probably have to live with it for the rest of my life. Dahmer's life at Columbia Correctional lasted less than three years, in part because he was placed in the general inmate population. Another prisoner, armed with a steel bar, beat him to death in November of 1994. That inmate was 25-year-old Christopher Scarver of Milwaukee. Scarver was serving a life sentence for murder when he decided to kill Dahmer and another notorious prisoner named Jesse Anderson. Anderson had stabbed his wife to death in the parking lot at North Ridge Mall. The Cedarburg man falsely blamed two black men. Somehow, Scarver, Dahmer, and Anderson were assigned to cleaning duty together. A guard escorted them to the gym and inexplicably left them alone. Dahmer started cleaning the men's room. Anderson cleaned the locker room, and Scarver went to the weight room. Scarver took a steel bar from a dumbbell and went into the men's room and beat Dahmer beyond recognition. Then he went to the locker room and beat Anderson. Scarver calmly walked back to his cell and told a guard, God told me to do it. You will hear about it on the 6 o'clock news. Jesse Anderson and Jeffrey Dahmer are dead. At his first court appearance, Scarver entered the courtroom singing. Rain or shine, sharing your dreams, your heart and your mind. Initially, Scarver entered an insanity plea, but eventually he pled no contest. Your parole eligibility date will not be until the year 3077. Because of his notoriety, Scarver was shipped to a prison outside Wisconsin. He's been bounced around to several maximum security prisons over the years and is currently at a prison in Colorado that houses the most disruptive offenders. Scarver has sent me several letters in recent months. His grammar is flawless, which is somewhat surprising considering he's a high school dropout who has spent half of his life in prison. He writes, it took me 16 years to work my way out of the hole, 24 hour a day solitary confinement for that 1994 event. I was finally released into the general prison population on November 8th, 2010. Scarver claims that Colorado prison officials will not let him practice his religion, Hinduism. Unfortunately, I was put back in the hole on February 4th, 2011, simply because I requested my religious needs. Twenty years after Dahmer's arrest here near 25th and State, questions remain about Dahmer's murder. Did Christopher Scarver act alone? Did guards look the other way, allowing Scarver to kill Dahmer? Four months before Dahmer was murdered, another prisoner tried to kill him but failed. A few weeks later, an informant warned prison officials that Scarver was now planning to kill Dahmer. That old boy Dahmer is going to get it again. There were other inmates involved. They were supposed to create a distraction, but that tip was ignored. A blue ribbon panel investigated Dahmer's murder. They interviewed Scarver and concluded Scarver acted alone. He was not part of a conspiracy. The attack was not racially motivated. Scarver found both Dahmer and Anderson unfit to live. In my exchange of letters, I asked Scarver about the attack. Why? How? Did anyone else help? He has yet to answer those questions. In his most recent response, he wrote, I'm in the hole again. Respectfully, humbly, sincerely, Christopher J. Scarver, Deep Segregation, B1.
Christopher Scarver is such a high security inmate that prison officials in Colorado will not even confirm that he is in their custody, despite the fact that he has sent me all of these letters. Now, if Scarver ever does answer my questions, it could finally end the debate over whether Christopher Scarver acted alone when he killed Jeffrey Dahmer and Jesse Anderson. Wow.